How nice should you be to murderers, rapists, and thieves? How nice should you be to their friends and family who support and approve of their nasty deeds? What if they've been carefully brainwashed for a lifetime to not see their acts as murder, rape, or theft? Does this excuse them and obligate you to overlook what they do, to be nice to them? This is the exact situation with those who work for government. It doesn't matter if you're talking about a kindergarten teacher, the janitor who mops the courthouse, or the cop who murders a jaywalker who he claims appeared to have a gun. If you work for government in any capacity, you are doing wrong. You are harming rightful liberty. Do you still expect your victims to be nice about it? I understand those who say they're undermining the state from the inside, and maybe this occasionally does some good. I also understand they need to not be noticed as infiltrators so as to not be kicked out. But if you put on the uniform and hang out with the bad guys, you must expect to be shot as an enemy. It's a hazard you knew and accepted when you chose that path, and it's no one else's responsibility to coddle bad guys just because you may be in their midst of your own free will. I'm not talking about collateral damage, but someone actively taking part in living undercover as a bad guy, even if you're trying to destroy them. If this is what you're really doing, and you can live this life without doing any harm, I hope you avoid getting caught up in it. And I'm just talking about whether people should be nice to the bad guys, not about defense. If you're one of the bad guys, I'm probably not going to be nice to you, nor should you expect me to. You can whine and make up laws to try to force me to act like you want, but that just shows how bad and weak you really are. Good luck with that.